John Keenan from Wicklow gets the Senior Hurling Championship Round 1 qualifier underway in Thurless. And it's last chance saloon for Cork and Dublin as Luke Mead gets the game's opening shot away and it's the opening score inside 10 seconds for Luke Mead drafted into the side and it's a great start for Cork. Dublin looking to reply straight away through the experience. Danny Sutcliffe did well to create an angle for a shot and Danny Sutcliffe draws his level. There's only 30 seconds played, a whirlwind start. And Cork have worked this one nicely across to Sean O'Donoghue. Very close there was Robbie O'Flynn, but O'Flynn showing some pace. Cork missed him last week as he was out suspended. Good run this by O'Flynn, looking to give Cork the lead again. And Robbie O'Flynn strikes over a wonderful score. Brilliant point by Robbie O'Flynn. And Cork have retaken the lead. That one broken down and a bit of a shoulder given there by Cooper. Picked up by Coleman. Luke Mead who got the game's opening point after 10 seconds. Good pass inside as well to Jack O'Connor who did enough after coming on as a substitute last week to warrant a starting position. Great run this by Jack O'Connor straight through and surely there's a chance here for Dalton but just not able to get it and then he strikes it low and the ball has gone to the back of the net and it's a goal for Declan Dalton. Well the two players who were substitutes last week Jack O'Connor and Dalton combining Dalton striking it low off the ground and it's the first goal of the game. Mead gets a clearance away while under pressure. But that's a loose one, easily picked up there by Conor Burke. He's seen a lot of ball in these opening minutes. Now then, chance for Keen Boland to use his pace. Boland having a look at the sticks, driven high by Keen Boland. And that one has gone over and it's a fine score for Dublin by Keen Boland. It's their first score from play though in 13 minutes. Picked up here now by Dylan as Dublin look to reply. Working really hard though to create a scoring chance. That one a little too high for Burke. He did well to gather though. And Donald Burke, accurate from freeze and now accurate from play. That's a school good score from Donald Burke. His first from play, his third overall. Driven forward again. Looking for Dylan, but Mark Coleman back there having a storming first half for Cork. And again, he doesn't give a ball cheaply away. Mark Coleman finding Tim O'Mahony. And the diagonal again, looking for Dalton. Dalton going to ground, doing really well to pick it up while he was on the ground. And Dalton looking to add to his goal, and he does. And that's a very good score from Declan Dalton. Sutcliffe working hard to try and get this one forward. But Dublin really need to start winning some ball inside. And they finally have. It's a great take inside by Ronan Hayes. A good goal last week against Kilkenny. And Hayes gets a fine score in Thurless against Cork and it's a point Dublin badly needed driven along by Connor Burke looking for Sutcliffe but he isn't able to hold on to possession it's Patrick Horgan the final moments of the first half and Patrick Horgan scores his first from play and what about that from a score Dublin need a good start to the second half and here they come here's Sutcliffe great save though by Anthony Nash and that was a great chance for Dublin early in this second half, but a fantastic save by Anthony Nash. Breaking ball picked up here by Rian McBride. Back as far as Kean Boland. Two points to his name in this match already. Boland down towards the full forward line. And this one will be picked up nicely by Chris Crummy. And Chris Crummy gets his first score of the game. And it's a good one from the captain. He's gone inside to the full forward line and Dublin needed it. Now then, here's Bill Cooper crossing his own 65. Low ball in, looking for Seamus Harnady. Battling hard there with Keen O'Callaghan. Harnady has left it. Here's Robbie O'Flynn. Now, he hasn't missed a thing all day long. And Robbie O'Flynn has scored another. What a display from Robbie O'Flynn. That's five points from play now. And he is having a super game. Well, Spillane, and again, it's Horgan now. Cork finding there. Men with ease, lovely little pop pass there as far as Horgan, should be a score, and it is a score. Lovely little pass from Harnady to Patrick Horgan, and he gets his first point of the second half. McDonnell driving it forward and well gathered there by Seamus Harnady under pressure from Moran and Madden, and the foul committed 
And Harnady has done well today for Cork. Patrick Horgan just taking as much time as he is allowed. Giving this one a huge amount of height and what a score from Patrick Horgan. He is one of the best. Time here now for Sean Moran. This ball though will be contested by Cork and it's won by Horgan now. Time and space here for Seamus Harnady. And Harnady makes no mistake and that all came on the back of a loose pass from Sean Moran. Five points now for Seamus Harnady. Poor puck out as far as Harnady. And now a chance here for O'Connor. And it's a great save by Nolan. Chance though for Harnady. Another great save by Nolan. That's wonderful goalkeeping by the Dublin goalkeeper. Superb. Here's the double save from Nolan. The first one from Jack O'Connor. And the second one from Seamus Harnady. Brilliant. James Madden gets it forward now. Driven forward by Mark Schutte. Good take by Liam Rush. Gets a pass away and a chance here for Crummy. Went for goal, but that one has gone over the bar. And for the first time in the second half, they did create a good goal chance, but it's put over the bar by Chris Crummy. Dublin trying to work a consolation goal. That's all it would be at this stage, but Bill Cooper is back there to pick up the ball and the referee has blown the final whistle. And that's it in Semple Stadium. It's the end of the line for Dublin in the 2020 Hurling Championship. Cork are in the hat for the next round of the qualifiers and are still alive. It's finished. Cork 125, Dublin 22 points.